Hong Kong, one of the global financial centers, is always criticized as the art desert, but actually the situation is not that bad. Art is everywhere. You can basically no one cannot live without art or craft. Damon Tong has worked as a visual art artist in Hong Kong for more than seven years. He runs a studio in an industrial building at New Territory, together with two other artists. Where even I have to disagree, the cultural desert is not true. Problem is, you tend people tend to talk about the thing outside the artwork, but not the artwork itself. I I, I heard a little about it, really. Space and money is 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 taking like almost. I don't know, 67 years or my, my, my whole focus, you know, so what, and then you feel mentally tiring. Asia Archive, uh, Art Archive, did a lot of people's favor. Asia Art Archive is a non-profit organization that was founded in year 2000 with the mission of um, documenting and facilitating research around contemporary art in Asia. Um, so. In Hong Kong, which is where our head office is, um, the kind of basic interface um, is the library, which is where we are in right now. And this is a library that is um, open to the public for free, six days a week from 10 to 6. So there's no registration needed. Anyone can come and we hope this can become a resource for um, the public in Hong Kong. I know this place through several friends who are working in uh, u local universities. The most important uh, aspect of coming over here is to get uh, to know what's happening around the world. The archive for me is just a library, you know, but they, they really fill up the loopholes of uh, the government agencies. Besides non-profit organizations like the Asia Art Archive, there are more than 100 art galleries in Hong Kong. The Hong Kong Art Basel in March also attracted artists from all over the world. With the help of all these organizations, the world of art in Hong Kong is spinning.